This is Rokaku Dai Heights, an abandoned Jet hill that time Jet forgot. Poison Jam is always proud Bury it in graffiti and put the smack down on Poison Jam. Like old times. Like old times. Look, you now, I'll start the melody on the order. Units spotted in Rokaku Dai. All units converge on the Rokaku Dai area. Repeat. Repeat. But later. All right, now we're playing as combo. HQ to all cars. The youths are in Rokaku Dai again. All officers are advised to Hi, Poison Jam. What you doing here? All right, let's go. Now you may think to yourself, now wait a minute. Combo using that, uh, or having that beatbox in his, or boombox in his hands cradled over his shoulder, it can't be easy to skate with that, right? Well, you'd probably be right. But hey, it's still really fucking cool. Oh, there they go. Into Kogane. I'm sorry. Is Kogane Cho even in this game, or is that just a translational thing where Rokaku Dai and Kogane Cho are just like different, lo or the same location in different translations? Because Kogane was the uh, the turf of Poison Jam in the original game, and that'd be really cool. Gonna go to sleep almost 2 a.m. All right, thank you, Joao. Have a good one. Uh, see you maybe next time for a different stream. Hopefully, I'll you know not be streaming so late your time. Trying to remember again, uh, just off of memory, where the uh, cassette for this stage is. Nothing's clicking right now, but I'm sure I'll be able to find it. What is gravity? I don't remember the appeal of this rail. Gravity is a force that does not exist in video games. This is fact. Poppycock. Oh no, it's birthday cake. Thank you. Uh. Oh no, hang on. Hang on. I want to make sure that this is actually the uh, spot I want to go. I think it is. Whoa, buddy. Yeah, I don't think there's actually anything for us here right now, but there will be later in the game, I guess. Including maybe a graffiti soul. Who knows? Gotta jump there. Stop it up, buddy. You know my love is free. Oh, these are some nice vending machines. Oh, oh excuse me, excuse me. I'm just trying to just trying to get some uh, cold drinks, some super cold refreshments. Oh, is that where Mew is? I didn't remember that she was just chilling out. What's up, Mew? A Riv, rather. She's Riv in this game, Mew in uh, original Jet Set. Actually, she was also renamed in future. Again. Speed run of Jet Set Radio Future, where every time you hear birthday cake, you have to pause the game and wait for it to finish. The objective is never to hear it. Let's make it happen. I don't know if I'm going to be willing to do it, but... Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 
I think she went over here. Yeah. Hello. Any of the street challenges and test runs? Uh, yeah, probably. I found that it is easier to do the street challenges and all that in this game versus the original, so I've actually, in the past, unlocked all the uh, hidden characters. In the original Jet Set Radio, I've never really been bothered, but uh, I, I guess if I like put time into it, I'm sure it'd be a lot easier than I'm making it out to be. Remember you doing an LP in this game years ago? <laughs> wow, you've been a around a while. Yeah, um, I, uh, I used to do videos on a channel called uh, The Walkthrough Corner, and this was one of the Let's Plays I did. So, yeah, I'm eventually gonna handle the street challenges and all that. And I have been trying to get all the challenges via, you know, these cassette tapes. Okay, good, we're out of birthday cake. So... Oh, no, never mind. This, like that. This, this, like that. Oh, hello. Was I not supposed to graffiti that wall? I'm sorry. Oh. 13 platforms, though? Oh, I already did that. That happened earlier. Uh, thank you, by the way, to... Uh, what was his name? Aiden something? Cool Aiden. Uh, for telling me the correct route for that. I was a little bit stubborn at first, but, uh, he helped out. Uh, where is that graffiti soul? Is it above me? I like it, I like it. I like it. I don't like it. The 13 platforms you need to avoid falling to the ground. Now I'm aware. Already done. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Take it easy. Challenge still sucks. Yeah, it's it's not easy. So I'm pretty sure in order to get up there, I'm gonna need to turn around and maybe boost dash. Maybe I can just make it like this. Yeah. You've got a graffiti soul. I did it with Beat. I'm not sure if his uh, control is like any better or worse, but I like Beat. I like Beat, so that's why I was using him. Also, that was convenient to uh, get that graffiti soul just then, because I was right in the area. What's up, Poison Jam? That. Wait, that's the wrong one. Why was it having me face the wrong one? I mean, I guess it was because Poison Jam themselves were uh, facing the wrong way. Alright. Got him! Oh, I never noticed that that uh, tanker in the back has a Daruma face on it. I guess I never really paid attention to Darumas before now. That is to say, when I played this the first time, I didn't really know a whole lot about Japanese culture and uh, some of the themes. So, uh, yeah, I guess I never really took note of it before. Which is going to make me appreciate Bomb Rush Cyberpunk a lot more, I imagine, because... Uh, Yeah, it's it's cool to do that. Also, armored peeps. Hey, get off of me. Get off of me. You need a half pipe and then area combo does not end. Uh I'm trying to imagine what you're what you mean by that. Also, I just want to get a closer look at the Dharma, but I'm not able to land. There we go. There we go. I'm not sure what clock that's following. Like if it's actually the in-game clock, that's pretty that's pretty neat. 
think the game was trying to mimic Tony Hawk 3. Okay. Well, I mean, it is a, a skating game, and Tony Hawk is a skateboarding game, so there are going to be some similarities. And besides, this game is a sequel to a game that already existed on the Dreamcast. I'm not sure if Jet Set Radio Original was trying to mimic Tony Hawk, but it definitely does some things well that I think I prefer in this type of game over Tony Hawk. Might also be the bias with uh, rollerblading, but hey. I also imagine that most of the differences between this game and the original were because the original wasn't as, like, functional. It's a little bit clunky by comparison to this. Which is kind of why I prefer this game over the original, even though the original might be, like, better off for a couple of reasons. Uh, my personal one is that Birthday Cake isn't in the original. Um, and also, I guess that it could be argued that level-based gameplay is a little bit better than the more open-world uh, level-based gameplay. Which I know sounds a little bit redundant, but what I mean is, in the original Jet Set Radio, uh, you were tossed into a stage, you gotta do an objective, and then you're booted out of the stage. In this one, you can do multiple objectives in the same stage, and just leave whenever you're ready. Like, that different type of gameplay kinda lends itself to some utility, but uh, sometimes it's not as good. Like, sometimes you'll still get more enjoyment out of being booted out of a stage you don't want to be in. Like, especially the later levels. Um, I can't remember the name of the level specifically, but uh, it's one of the evening time stages where it's pretty much a straight shot. You can't uh, backpedal really easily. I don't know why I jumped. Uh, you can't backpedal really easily. You're going down like a bunch of houses at first, and you go into a sewer system, and you're constantly grinding the entire time. Uh, like, that one starts to weigh on you after a while. I think that's the same clock as in Kibogaoka. Uh, I haven't been to Kibogaoka in a long time, but I'll take your word for it. Uh, what am I missing? A handful of things, it seems. Including a graffiti soul, but I'm not sure what that is. Oh, right, jump. Well, time for the long way back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. I'm an idiot. Oop. Gotta make a statement of intent. There it is. You got it. Now, I don't remember exactly where I need to go in order to get the rest of the graffiti. Oh, there it is. Okay. Actually, just grind up the the damn phone poles. Oh no! There I go again. This time I wasn't in the damn water, but you know, still a shame I fell down at all. Statement of intent. Make a statement of intent. I could probably be conserving my graffiti a little bit more than I have been, but eh, that's no big deal. They respawn after a certain amount of time anyway. And you're never, like, really low on graffiti in these early stages, so... Oh, no! Yeah, some of these blind turns do not lend the game to many favors. Alright. Yeah. 
go. I'd say that uh, this game having some blind turns is a little bit of a problem, but I guess this is also just a problem with uh, Jet Set games in general, because the original also had some. Get off me, please. Da! I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit, I guess. Ow. Alright, good enough. Maybe not. Uh huh. 100 meter tower in, in the sewers is much more annoying. No, I actually kind of like the the tower. It's a lot of just wall jumping, and I don't know why I like that one so much more. Um, need to get ready, yeah. There you go. I mean, it is getting close to your bedtime, Hayashi, so, uh... Oh. Good job, Hayashi. I cannot remember the, uh... the cop's name from the first game right now. Damn! It was the guy who kept yelling, DAMN! And the police in that game would go, Oh! Oh! Over there! Hut! 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 I think the cops in the first game are a lot more quotable than, uh, than this one, but... Grab some of this, because I remember... I remember the final graffiti being all the way up here. Right. Time for the long grind. Uh, is it up here or is it on the other one? I think it might be on the other one. No, it's right here. Oh! Oh, yo! We got some aisle 10 action up in here. Whoa! Uh-oh. Um, hi, I'm down here now. Onishima, that's the one. I see you at my job. You're carrying yourself so well. I made myself a promise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the host song that plays there. Hey! The only place you have to take care of is 99th Street. Go cover it up. I swear there's actually something right up here, but maybe I just don't have the graffiti still unlocked yet. Uh, let me check these. Air combo 4, 35 tricks, 40,000, and chimney number 1 grind. Probably this. Well, it's not that. I did grind the other chimney already, but I didn't do it before I got... Sorry, I didn't do it after I got the challenges, so I'm gonna have to go do that. And the trick rail was probably near the beginning, so... Or maybe it's this one. Let me have a look. It's not this one. It's not this one. I want to hold your hand. I haven't been the same man since I saw you coming in. Let's have a toast to the girl in I am
Okay, well, I found the trick rail. You came in here with this. Go. I don't think that was the point. Though. It was. Okay. So I just gotta do a trick one. The trick. Uh, was right. <laughs> Allison! Uh, again, language advisory for this song, so if you are sensitive to strong language, keep uh, keep that in mind when listening to this song. I actually don't remember... Hello, how's the stream been? It has been good. I have been enjoying playing this game again. It has been too long since I have. You got it, Hip hop's the shit! Alright, I'm actually gonna switch back over to. I'll do Riv. Let's see how she do it. does. Shortcuts are unavailable to Jeff. I know. I'm aware. I'm just looking around for graffiti souls, and I know where I'm allowed to go and where I'm not allowed to go. Thank you for your assistance, but I am good. go. Alright, I think that's actually at the, yeah, at the second one. Okay, here's a question that I have about this game uh, compared to the first one. Do characters actually have different uh, graffiti amounts or is it always a standard 30? Because uh, in the first game, they actually had different stats that allowed you to carry different amounts of uh, of graffiti. Popping in quickly before getting on a Zoom call with my brother, who's in college. Just for the rest of my it's okay. Let me see if I can do something interesting during that time. All right, gotta jump first. Should I? Yeah. And a The vast majority of them hold 30. Okay. I'm assuming that some of the later ones, like Clutch, are the ones that uh, offer higher graffiti amounts. Oh, another Albuquerque verse? You got it. Uh, 
You know, I've never been on a real airplane before, and I gotta tell you, it was really great. Except that, yeah, except that I had to sit between two large Albanian women with excruciatingly severe body odor, and little kid in back of me kept throwing up the whole time. The flight attendants ran out of Dr. Pepper and salted peanuts. In the in-flight movie, was Biodome with Polly Shore. And oh yeah, three of the airplane engines burned out. We went into a tailspin and crashed into a hillside, and the plane exploded in a giant fireball, and everybody died, except for me. You know why? Because I had my tray table up, and my seat back in the full up right position, had my tray table up, and my seat back in the full up right position, had my tray table up, and my seat back in the full up right position. <laughs> so I crawled from the twisted burn and wreckage. I crawled on my hands and knees for three full days. Dragging along my big leather suitcase, my Garmin bag, and my tenor saxophone, and my 12-pound bowling ball, my lucky, lucky autograph, glow and dark snorkel. Finally, I arrived at the world-famous Albuquerque Holiday Inn, where the towels are oh so fluffy. And you can eat your soup right out of the ashtrays if you wanna. It's okay, they're clean. Well, I checked into my room, and I turned down the AC, and I turned on the Spectre Vision, and I'm just about to eat that little chocolate mint on my pillow that I love so very, very much, when suddenly there's a knock on the door. Well, now, who could that be? I said, who is it? No answer. Who is it? There's no answer. Who is it? They're not saying anything. So finally, I go over and I open the door, and just as I suspected, it's some big fat hermaphrodite with a flock of seagulls haircut and only one nostril. Oh, man, I hate it when I'm right. So anyway, he bursts in my room, and he grabs my like snorkel, and I'm like, hey, you can't have that. That snorkel's been just like a snorkel to me. And he's like, tough. And I'm like, give it. And he's like, make me. And I'm like, okay. So I grabbed his leg and he grabbed my esophagus and I bit off his ear and he chewed off my eyebrows and I took out his appendix and he gave me a colonic irrigation. Yes, you better believe it. And somehow in the middle of it all, the phone got knocked off the hook. And somehow, yeah, somehow in the middle of all, the phone got knocked off the hook. 20 seconds later, I heard a familiar voice. And you wanna know what it said? I'll tell you what it said. It said, if you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator in Albuquerque. Soda yeah. and cool. Cube, Kappa 25. Clutch and Jazz, Kappa 35. I remember that. Uh, clutch and Jazz. Or, uh, vaguely, vaguely, rather, remembered that Clutch and Jazz, Kappa 35.